Well, maybe the motive or like how you freaking assassinated the Europe regime might be the same way you did this one. I don't know. I gotta ask the questions. I got trying to gather information. Let's go. <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, no, actually, no, I got I got a better thing. Huh, Bobo? Wanna get wicked? Wanna take it to the limit? Absolutely not. You and I can do amazing things, baby. You never got down to and digital. Wanna open your ports to my and and down <laughs> to my download and open my dot exe. Come on, baby. We can cyber all day and all night. A secret tunnel into the dead zone. Someone has been naughty. Uh oh. Also, I don't know if I want to open that safe because there's weird noises coming from it. This is used for uh, tomography. Tomography? I'm guessing it was being used to see what's inside a demon. No, I think it's probably used to study its penal structure. He does kind of look a little phallic, not gonna lie. <laughs> Goofy, ah. <-uh. laughs> Does that help? Still feels like it's loud. Is it even changing? I don't even know if the music has its own light. Well, I mean, like, it has its own volume, but it... Maybe it's linked more to the master volume? I don't know. Seems like he's, like, in the building over there. Anywho, I, I tried. I, I know it kind of did get a little loud, I know, in the first episode. So I tried to turn it down a little bit, but... Glistening stone obtained. A small but bright stone. Looking at it makes the world around you fade away, and you can hear distant memories imprinted on the stone by the wearer. This one is full of happiness. Well, that's good. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you know what I just realized? I should be buying uh, these. I should be buying these drinks because I can get information from uh, Nebula, or whatever the hell the mascot's name is. Uh, let's browse the drinks because I didn't realize that each machine has its own thing so I probably should be buying these so they're their own collectible cool melon obtained a slightly sweet melon flavored soda best enjoyed on a summer's day under a tree fearing the last drop and having to return to whatever it was you were doing <laughs> oh I guess never mind well at least we got a collectible drink honestly lemon soda oh mm. Like a, well actually I think they said it was more of like a melon, but a lemon soda, that's the shit right there. Traditional to donate, sure thing. Made the goat suck my titty. Silent goat carving obtained. A carving about the god Silent Goat. Was the first god evolved man, was the first god evolved man had contact with. God evolved man had... I'm sorry, that, that sentence is kind of confusing me. Was the first God-evolved man had contact with? Man, ha okay. Was the first God-evolved man had contact with? Okay, well, I'm sorry, there should be some kind of comma there to, like, split it up. It, it just looks like it's, it's like, like a run-on sentence almost. Sometimes known as the first for, his, for this reason. Captured outside the city of Mohada Ending in India. Tortured in the crystal caves, became aware of the syndicate and gifted them his power killing himself. Oh. So he was like the the one that gifted the syndicate power. Okay. Questionable donation obtained. Citizens sometimes throw coins into fountains for luck. Luck doesn't exist. <laughs> Dang. What do you mean? I don't know, when I hit the slots, I'd be getting pretty lucky. When I'd be hitting my Genshin pulls, dude, mm, I've been actually pretty lucky on those. Now, I ain't as lucky enough to get, like, two five stars and a single ten, but, like, I've been pretty fortunate to, to for the amount of characters I have for being, like, completely free to play. I'm sitting bith pretty. Fascinating grasshopper obtained. Some people get very obsessed about grasshoppers. I certainly do not. Actually, like, grasshoppers are definitely the types of critters that, like, uh, freak me out more than any other type of bug. It's probably, like, 
them and like spiders. Then probably like any any sort of like moth slash butterfly would probably be the next one. Well, maybe cockroaches. I don't know. It's hard to say. I hate. I hate lanky, fast things. That is like, that. that's definitely like... Cause like for me, so... I guess the best way to describe it, so if you know like centipedes, or I guess millipedes, whatever, you know, version of it you, you can think of. Or like silverfish, you know, like silverfish. Um, honestly, like the giant thick, like, worm-looking, like, millipedes do not freak me out as much as, like, the skinny, like, silverfish, like, centipede millipede things, if that makes sense. You would think that, like, oh, bugs, so, like, the bigger, you know, big bugs would, like, freak you out more. It's like, no, because, like, giant millipedes aren't really that fast, or at least I've never seen one scutter, like, how a freaking spider would you know what i mean so like to me like a giant millipede isn't all that bad plus like my irrational fear from bugs comes solely for the fact that like they can get inside you like that's my irrational fear is that you know like it's like i think i always bring it up i, I always bring the story up all the time but it's like i i remember like in the news there was like this woman who literally had like a little baby spider living in her her ear like in her head for like days like it started with a really bad like headache and it just didn't go away so she went to the doctor and they found out she literally had a spider in her head and i'm like nope nope no thanks no like literally after that i can't do bugs like even even cute little ones as like ladybugs and stuff. No, it's like the irrational fear that that thing is small enough to fit inside me. I don't like it. Like that's that's where my like fear of bugs truly comes from. It's, but in the same sense, I don't like some bugs for how fast and scuttery they are because I don't like fast and like scuttery things either. Like lanky things that like scutter. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Especially like, oh my god, like, like, m m giant moths that like, oh, oh my god, my, my mom was telling me this story of like how we had literally like Mothra in our garage at one point and it like freaked me the fuck out. But like apparently there was like this moth like bigger than like our, your hand, like bigger than like your full hand, like scuttering around our garage. I'm like, thank god I was not there like alone in our home with that thing in there. I happened to be away. This is, I think, when I, I was away at, like, college or something. Or at least I just, I wasn't there that day. But, thankfully, you know, my mom is not, like, the type of person that's, like, you know, Oh, bugs! So they, they got rid of it. I don't know if, she, I, don't, I don't think she killed it. I think she just managed to, like, push it outside. But, like, it was huge. And it was, like, you could literally audibly hear it flapping its wings. Like, that's how fucking big it was. And I'm like, oh my god, if I saw that, I would have pissed and shitted and cummed at the same- I actually probably not cummed, but I would have piddled and shittled in my pants and freaked out and cried. <laughs> Aromic mushroom obtained. Mushrooms grow all over the island and are prized for their variety of flavors. Yo, <laughs> this mushroom hit different, bruh. <laughs> I feel like I could talk to you all day, lady. To, uh, love dies. What's on your mind? Everything. Nothing. You know how it is. Feeling quite relaxed. You're the only one on the island that is. That's why you're in this situation. Too many people that take things too seriously. Don't. They don't think about the others. Just their own advancement. This isn't how a perfect society runs. Do you come from a perfect society? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get the you don't get this attitude and charming personality unless you come from a place where everyone in the government is looking to scapegoat you for their own cruelty and fuck ups. You personally? Of course not me personally. The lower glasses. No time to chat. Things to do. But I thought you said. I thought you said you wanted to chat, bro. There. 
nightmare computer. Oh, can I can I use this? Or do I need Oh I can't. No, I can't. The nightmare computers can log activity in the area. They're normally set up to see to see who has passed through the door or access them. If I can use Starlight to help me gain access, then I might be able to get some evidence. All right, Starlight, let's get to work. All right, so apparently I can do this actually. Oh, so this is what they were talking about like when I was talking with people like, oh, just check the logs to see if I was there or not. This is what they mean. Um, star, ooh yeah. These are the logs of who entered and exited the building last night. Let's see. 1734, witness enters. 2058, Carmelina arrives and witness buzzes her in. 2358, the god justice marshals arrive and secure the building. 18, witness and Carmelina exit. 331, witness returns. Witness. These logs are sealed by the nightmare computer. They can't have been tampered with. Witness and Carmelina have alibis. Oh, witness to the end. Of the, uh, witness to the end. I think is the name of that guy. I'm gonna visit soon. Where is he? Oh wait, is he above me? Oh, he is in here. Okay. So wait, does he live here? Interesting. Oh wait, hang on. I see a blood crystal. I want to check the area first. So. Got that blood. I got that blood in me. You already know how it is. I guess let's get up in there, if I can, hopefully. You know, do they gotta make, like, everything, like, dongle-related? It's kind of a weird button to, like, get in there. Well, I guess it's kind of like the key, because, like, I used it, and you, like, insert your own key, I guess, but... Kind of weird. Polite luxury... Chocola? Cho oh, chocolates. <laughs> I didn't finish reading that. Chocolates. The standard gift given to the host when syndicate members visit each other. Oh, I didn't bring chocolates, though. Well-loved sec secateurs? Is that how you say it? They're like pruners, right? A craftsman, a craft person's tools are a thing of beauty. The grip, the grip has been worn into a perfect fit for the ha user's hands over the years, over years of use. I wonder if that'll play a clue. Yo, what's up, witness to the end? I'm a, I think that's your name? Give me a second though, I need to scour your apartment for goodies. All right. I don't wanna like go into your place uninvited, so I probably should talk with you first and then I'll like investigate your room. Okay. Right? Isn't your name? Yeah, witness to the end. Overseer of the end of the islands. So what should I give? He kind of gives me like that praise the sun vibes. I'm not going to lie. Under the gaze of the gods, the so-called investigation freak returns to the island sequences. Witness to the end, overseer of each dying paradise, born in the Chaos Palace in northern Iran of AD 981 under the sign of the destroyed Eden. As a child, Witness was enslaved under the banner of Crying Grudge and put to work building the perpetually growing Chaos Palace in North Persia. During the Great Betrayal, Witness refused to budge in his devotion, fleeing to hide within the impossible labyrinth of the Chaos Palace. Ezekiel found Witness and urged him to follow him. They became close. Witness was still a young man when Ezekiel, older and wiser, Witness looked up to him as a father figure after being taken from his own father at a young age. Witness holds a great deal of responsibility, overseeing the end of an island. He ensures every failure is perfect and collects and breeds rare plants in his penthouse. Good to see you again, Witness. Apologies for Starlight. I do remember you. How long has it been since you last did work for us? Uh, work for our holy masters. Time moves so strangely here. We are grains of sand that drift in the astral wake of the heavenly titans. Especially after last night. The island is ready to end. The time flow is broken. The gods are displeased. 
We are supposed to be their loyal servants. Or our only purpose is to resurrect them. Now we squabble and scheme. Our holy work brought to a screeching halt by murder. The end times are looming. So many have strayed from the path. This must be a sign from the gods. Capricious idiots. <laughs> the gods are capricious idiots. Another sinner fallen from the light and into hearsay, just like the rest of this island. We're devoted to them, but don't think they're righteous. I'm here to weave some truths, not do their work. You have forgotten our holy purpose as well. Too many have. What's with the holy proclamations? This isn't your usual style. Far too much has happened in your absence. Truths have become more mutable. Our masters are not being served. The syndicate has lost its way. I have not strayed from the path. Too many of us have forgotten what it means to serve our masters. I fear last night was one of our punishments. Oh man, so he is like fucking praise the sun. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. We're probably not gonna be the best of friends, my guy, because I uh, I am very hearsay. I am the least religious person in the world. <laughs> no, I mean not in the world, but and, you know it's okay. You know you practice your religion. It's not like I'm saying you, you can't do it, but I just if 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 a god in our world truly existed he has long abandoned us is all i'm saying i i don't believe in in just seeing people like when when stuff goes awry just like praying oh i hope everything you know is okay please watch over us i i don't know i just can't help but laugh because it's like no one's gonna fucking help you it <laughs> like no one the only person that's going to fix your life is you. Not some magical person in the clouds, you know. Oh, you, you've you been punished far too long, my child. Here, have a goth mommy and crab ragoons. Like, no, that's not how it fucking works. You know, you, only you can carve your path. That's what I believe in. But a, a lot of people, you know, they... You know, they, they put their faith in, in different things, I guess. Or, you know, at least have something they want to believe in, I guess. But I'm definitely not a religious type is all I, I, need, I would say. Or maybe it was a divine reminder. Our gods work in esoteric ways. Are you here to punish the wicked monster that committed this atrocity? The sinner that allowed demons on the island. Will he burn in the fire of justice? You can be sure. You can be sure of it. Any that would hinder the ascension of our cosmic overlords must be purged. Now, how can I assist you with your holy work? Do you believe Henry is responsible? All I can do is trust in the gods and have faith that what happened was part of their divine will. But do you believe Henry did it? It is not for me to question the gods. Man, all right, I, I, dude, I fucking hate you even more now. Just, just answer the damn question. <laughs> like, Witness, do you think anyone has a motive for killing the council? This island is full of sinners. Our holy mission has been left unattended for so long. Any number of sinners here could have done it. Perhaps it was the act of the gods. Heavenly anger leads to heavenly smiting. Smite me, oh mighty smiter! <laughs> um, sinners? Tell me about these sinners. The island crawls with them. They pay lip service to the gods, but don't follow our sacred mission. The island's sequences have degenerated. They used to be righteous. Now I despair. What about the accused? Henry is a citizen, not a syndicate member. Citizens are sinners too. They do not pray hard enough. This dude, all right, I, I, I really fucking hate this guy now. You don't, pray. you haven't accumulated enough faith points. So sorry, I hate you. You're not a good person. 
You haven't prayed long enough. You're not praying hard enough. Oh, shit. Fuck, you're right. I gotta pray to Steezus harder so that way he can shred harder for our sins. Even flow. Thoughts arrive like butterflies. <laughs> uh, the syndicate do not compel them to pray hard enough. The citizens grow restless, insubordinate. A dissent spreads. This one let demons on the island. Why stop there? That's a good story. Too good. Someone wants to pin this on the citizen, and we're too ready to accept it. We cannot conceive the esoteric ways of the gods' work. Another easy story. You're questioning the gods? Higher powers rarely provide the answers we need. Yeah, yeah, tell them, love dies. Yeah, fuck, the, fuck your self-righteous god work bullshit. Do you have a motive for killing the council? I am a humble servant striving to live on the righteous path. Murdering the council is not on that path. Am I taking your word for that? What reason would I have to kill the council? How does that benefit our holy mission? Who determines the path? The gods, of course. Did the gods want you to kill the council? Don't be ridiculous. Why are you butting heads with Montserrat so much? What does that have to do with anything? I need to know why someone was clashing with the murder victim. Our leader was not following the holy mission. His focus was on the island sequences, and not the gods. Sounds like he was straying from the path. Yes! I'm glad you understand. Our first priority is to prostra uh, prostrate ourselves before the gods, not build ourselves a nice home. If our islands fail, then that is the will of the gods. If we trust in them, then we will be saved. Did that make you angry enough to kill? How I, I know you must ask these questions, but it pains me to hear you question my loyalty and faith. You voted against every proposal he put forward, didn't you? That is the point of our democratic meetings. We all have a say on the direction of the Syndicate. His direction veered away from our holy mission. I voiced my disagreement with it. What kind of proposals were they? Advancement towards the so-called Perfect 25. I don't care about our new home being perfect if the gods are not there to celebrate it with us. Look out onto the ocean of madness. So many pyramids sit empty. 24 island sequences, and we only have one pyramid resident. We are capable of so much more. Why haven't we done more? Montserrat had other plans. Grand resurrections could wait until the island sequences were solved. That is the point of the Perfect 25. If the gods remain... Uh, what is the point of Perfect 25? If the gods remain in pain. I wanted to remind Montserrat of the Syndicate's purpose, so I voted against everything he and the rest of the Council put forward. Did you remind him with a knife by any chance? Absolutely not. <laughs> Were you here last night? I spent the night here, in my apartment. Well, um, uh, Carmelina came alone, so, but I, I guess I'll just, I'll just clarify just to hear it from him. But the computer said that, uh, Carmelina was here at some point. By yourself? The architect came to visit me. A rare social call. She was with me at the time of the killings. We left when we were summoned to the crisis meeting. That is true. The computers can log that. They were here when the murder happened, because it happened at midnight, and they were here since, like, since the, the, they were summoned for the meeting, like, you know, 15 minutes later or whatever. So unless they, unless they fucking shot him with a sniper or some shit. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just gonna question the visit. Why did she come to visit you? It was unusual. She wanted to spend the last minutes of this withering island with me. It has been quite an age since we spent time together socially. Was there any odd, anything odd about her behavior? Is that how you say, that is not how you spell behavior, right? No, I'm... So th this, okay, this has definitely got to be like a foreign made game because like I know for a fact that foreigners, like I should say like people that aren't American, they fucking spell like humor, behavior, like anything that ends in our, like with our. It's not how it's spelled. It should just be O-R, I believe, right? It, it doesn't have a fucking U in it. So now I know this game truly is a foreign game. <laughs> not to diss it like the, the, but that's def, I don't think that's how you spell behavior. <laughs> We had a pleasant time. We shared some wine I'd been saving and prepared to say goodbye to paradise. And you two were in each other's company all evening. I stepped out to my, my balcony to take a phone call from Grand Marshal Aikiko. It was fleeting. No more than five minutes. What time was this call? Shortly before death visited the island. Akiko was reporting the escape of Henry. Okay, so maybe we can get her, her opinion on that. I'll follow up with Grand Marshal. Not long after, marshals were stationed outside the elevator to my apartment. Do you have any proof that you were both in the apartment? The nightmare computer at the entrance logs everyone that enters and exits the apartment. You can pull the records from that and check yourself. Which we already did. He, the, the, he's, he's telling the truth. Carmelina and Witness were both here. So uh, that at least draws suspicion that they, they were there murdering the council with a knife. Because again, you, you, we don't know. Like I, I'm led to assume that the council was murdered with a knife. But who knows? The knife could have been set up as like a decoy. Because, okay, so let's... let's I guess do some thinking, at least I guess for my own posterity. Um, no one has actually confirmed if the council's dead. That's that's also the big reveal. Like we don't know that the council's dead. Judge can even confirm that because no witness has seen the council. We are only assuming that the council is dead because they haven't emerged from the meeting. Even though you know we're moving to the next island sequence, the council should have emerged from the meeting now. If we're going to change islands, but they haven't. So no one can even confirm if the council's dead or not. So we can't confirm if they were stabbed to death. The only people we can confirm that were stabbed to death was the two martial guards that weren't even the guards that were supposed to be stationed there, apparently. Because their blood is not the same blood on the knife that we assume was used for the stabbing. So I think there's some kind of big grand scheme or plot. I don't know. Maybe even the council's working against us. Maybe the council's still alive and they're working against us. But at least as of here, Witness and Carmelina can't abide by the stabbing jurisdiction. If, if the council truly was murdered with a knife at midnight, Witness and Carmelina are both safe. Like, they're, they're not suspects to me. Because there's no way they could have fucking stabbed someone... All the way across the freaking like yard <laughs> you know what i mean like they're nowhere near them so there's no way they could have stabbed them like i said unless like the council was like sniped or something freaking locked in his like 50 caliber from across the building like jfk style like pew, you know i don't know but we don't even know how the council's we don't even know if they're dead or not because no one's witnessed that that's what we're trying to like get into like the whole like moon palace for or whatever we're trying to get in there to see if they're even fucking dead or not. They're probably still, like, twiddling each other's thumbs, jerking each other off, talking about, like, religious bullshit or something. I don't know. Why is yours the only apartment with a logging system? You can't be too careful. I take my privacy seriously. Paranoia. Got it. Thank you for your cooperation. I checked your building logs. Your story does check out. Of course it does. The righteous have nothing to hide. What do you know about KXH's disappearance? Nothing. He often went for periods of isolation. 
Sorry, I can't help more. Lady Love dies. That's okay. Seems like no one really knows. I, I probably just have to investigate his place on my own and figure it out. I don't think anyone's probably going to help me in this regard. What do you know about the second holy seal? Nothing. Lady Love dies. It is a mystery to everyone on the island. What do you know about Henry's escape? Only what the Grand Marshal has told us. Have you spoken with her? Not yet. Crimson's alibi. Did you see Crimson last night? I didn't see her, love dies. All right, so Cri Crimson really is just like, no one probably freaking saw her, so she has absolutely no alibi. But mm, in the same sense, like, I don't know. Here, here's my stipulation. So even though Crimson, and I'm not trying to be a simp, even though I said like, you know, she's hot, but... Even though Crimson doesn't have an alibi, she's a businesswoman. You know, she, she's an informant. She sells information. What good is she going to get by killing people? Killing people that would need her information. Or need information or... You know what I mean? Because it's like... If she's a, a, a traitor of information, if she goes around and kills everyone, then what is she, what, what's the point? Then her job is... She, she has no information to sell anyone and she can't get new information because everyone's dead. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see it in her to be the one to kill the council. If anything, she could have potentially been there to maybe get the deets and maybe she's hiding stuff from us, but I don't think she's the one that would actually commit the murder. I wouldn't put it past her to like hide shit from us because like I said, information's everything. So... Unless I paid her like 5 billion blood crystals, she's probably not going to tell me. She might have been a witness to something, but I I don't know. What I just, I, I see a business, man, with standards, you know what I mean? And I, it's not a good business practice to kill potential customers. So like for me to, for her to go and kill the council, I just don't see it. I don't see the motive. I don't see the the reason to do that, if that makes sense. But I could be wrong. I don't know. See, for me, like, even though, like, Carmelina has an alibi, she, she still holds suspicions in my eyes because, like, she's, like, the new architect of the islands. And the fact that her family was, like, bastardized by the council, like, they can't, they, she can't, she doesn't have a place, she can't take a seat on the council anymore because their family was, like, tarnished of their name from being able to, like, so, like, she has a motive. Of why she'd want to do this. To like be able to be her own ruler. And create her own paradise for everyone. You know what I mean? So I could see her killing the council. It's hard to like. So like for other people. Like it's hard to really put motives on like Sam and Lydia. Because I could see. Their motives would entirely be like they're killing. They're doing one last. This was like their last big like assassination job. Maybe they. They lied about, like, their other big assassination job being last. This might have been their last big assassination job before they can get out of the, like, the business. So, I don't know. Like, I, th that's the only motive I can see there. Lydia and Sam just seem like down-to-earth people. Like, I don't know why they would just go around killing people, even the council. I mean, as much as, like, maybe the council isn't great, I just can't see it. Aikiko, I haven't spoken to her yet, but... I wouldn't see her motive. Maybe it has something to do with her lover and the fact that she like, you know, you know, marries like, you know, her the grand marshals as they come and go or whatever. I don't know. I it's just it's kind of hard to piece things together, but I would say out of everyone we have spoken to, Every single person that we have spoken to, Crimson has absolutely no motive for doing this. Everyone else has some kind of motive. Crimson has no motive. And it's like, usually in these types of games, it's pointless to tell a story where like, oh, I just killed someone to kill someone. Like, especially in a murder mystery. There's always a reason. Because then it wouldn't be a good murder mystery story. If someone was just like, I'm crazy and I like killing people. 
You know what I mean? Even like, let's just take like the last game, you know, in the last game with Root Film and spoil. I, you know, I don't want to say spoiler alert because it's it's literally on my channel. Like usually games that I play through, I don't care to. But I guess spoiler alert: if you haven't checked out Root Film yet, um, it's literally like the last game we just played. We literally just got pretty much done playing it. I would check that out. But um, but basically, the ending to that game with with it with it being uh, uh, Monomi um, murdering be because like to to help like the directors find their true artistic purpose, it's like there still was a motive. It wasn't the motive I was expecting. I thought she was taking revenge because her sister died and no one helped her. That's the direction I was leaning towards. But then she came up with probably a more unique motive that like, no, I'm doing this because people love to see death. And I want the world to like experience the art of witnessing an actual fucking murder or like a death. You know what I mean? So like there, there was, which, like I said, it was a more unique spin to it. But like even she still had a murder, even if it, even though it was kind of more like I'm just murdering for the hell of it. Or having people kill themselves for the hell of it. There was still a motive behind it. But Crimson, I see absolutely no motive. She has no freaking motive for doing it. She sells information. She's a businesswoman. Like, what do you... I guess maybe her motive is that she was forced to be an idol. I, I think that she mentioned that, like, the Montserrat was like, Hey, you should come aboard and be, a, be an idol for us or whatever. And then she's like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll do it. And she's not, like, super enthralled by it. But then again, like... Because she's like an informant now on the side along with being an idol. It's like what does she gain from murdering people? Potential customers people who might need information for people who would pay top dollar the council paying top dollar for her information I don't know. I mean the government's doing that kind of shit all the time I'm sure they probably have a billion informants that you know they get their information on the down low. I'm sure there, you know, there's corruption behind there. Like uh, information sells, bro, and it's like I, I can't see killing off some of your probably top paying customers. I, I just don't see the correlation to it. Anyway, I kind of divulged pretty deep there, but uh, that's just that's just my two cents on it. Lydia and Sam's alibi. Did you see Lydia and Sam last night? Speak to Yuri. He is her handler. Do you know anything about the murder of the Marshal Guards outside of the council building? Is this case not open and closed? Do you believe there is more? Have you scourged the council build or scoured the council building? Well, half of that was useless. Oh, uh, I, for, I didn't, uh, 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 want a chat witness? I must warn you that I am not one for long conversations. The gods are watching us. Do you think they are happy with what they see? What's with the zealot thing you've got going on? The gods are radiant and this island does not bask in the light. I came to realize this and now I live only to serve them. Please tell me you also devote yourselves to the holy masters. Uh, I, but I want to get, th I know saying zealous is, I, I, I want to see like, yeah, cause I'm sure if I say disinterested, I'm not going to level up his friendship. So I probably should say, of course, with all my body and mind, your fanaticism fills me with hope. One day we may be able to make the gods happy. Please join me in prayer. Have journeyed across the stars, or he journeyed across the stars. He came to us and gifted so much. He was the first, the holy catalyst. Man's dark age was scorched by the fire of devotion. In the face of sin and hearsay, I sing for silent goat. He heard us in the crystal caves. He will hear us again. The first, the holy catalyst. Silent goat, may we all walk with you. He journeyed across the stars. He came to us and gifted so much. He was the first, the holy catalyst. Man's dark age was scorched by the fire of devotion. In the face of sin and hearsay, I sing for silent goat. He heard us in the crystal caves. 
he will hear us again. The first, the holy catalyst, Silent Goat. May we always walk with you. You are blessed. Yeah. I figured playing along, friggin' whatever. May you fly with destroyed Eden, and may you reach the moon. All right, Mr. Frickin' Fancy Pants. So long, brother. I'm gonna raid your apartment. Hopefully you don't got eight-inch dildos out. Oh, wait, shit. I didn't put those away. <laughs> you know, it's the most religious people that are the most fucking deviant because they don't get out their deviancies. Every everyone sins, okay? There is not a single perfect fucking motherfucker in the entire world, all right? And it's like, if you hide, literally, that is like, that is, that is why people, I think, do horrendous shit sometimes. You know what, let me, let me at least explain to you, because th this, this is a true fact for me. This is something that, like, I've experienced, and it's, it's, it's more of like a minor scale, but, you know, I guess completely different topics from, like, you know, what I'm talking about now with being, like, religious, but for me... So, I'm sure you all know, I pretty much guzzle soda like a sinkhole. Like, to this day, I, I'm literally in my mid-20s, I haven't stopped drinking it. Most people I know, like my friends, my family, like, they don't... It, it's not the healthiest drink, obviously. Like, you know, you, it's, it's got a bunch of sugars and crap in it that, that'll give you, like, diabetes and, and kidney stones or whatever. Um, it's not healthy for you. But yet, I still drink a lot of it, like, every day. And it's not because, like, I want the caffeine. It's just I love the taste of sodas. I love the taste of carbonated beverages. It's, like, my favorite drink of all time. Um, and I drink a lot of it. Um, but I would argue that the reason why... Well, I guess first reason is because my body's so accustomed to it. I, I definitely wouldn't be drinking soda as much as I do if, you know, my body, like you know, was destroyed because of it, but I'm still living pretty healthy for as much as I drink of it. You know, maybe if I'm like 85 and I'm still drinking as much as, you know, maybe I might still have, you know, problems or, you know, maybe in the next five to 10 years, maybe I might start, it might catch up to me and I might start having problems. I don't know. But as of right now, I have no problems with it. Um, I would argue the reason why I love it so much too is because I was like restricted from drinking it as a kid like i love the taste of it like when i was a kid crack open a, a boba bola and knock that bitch back that, that was like the most refreshing shit i'd ever had in my life but of course i was restricted to like you know no more than like a can a day you know like and if i wanted to drink more i would have to like do some kind of like exercise or work yeah, my parents were really weird about that, but I, you know, it is what it is. I mean, they don't care now. I'm, a, I'm an adult. I can make my own decisions now. So, like, I guzzle it like a sinkhole now, and I have no problems. But yeah, back then, I was restricted to, like, a can a day. They didn't want me. And, and obviously, because, you, know, it, it, you know, it rots your teeth and, you know, turns your insides bad and whatever. You know, there's a lot of bad things to drinking a lot of sugary carbonated beverages, but because of that restriction, I craved it more because it's like I couldn't satisfy my love for the drink in one can. Like that's not enough. Like I at least need like a full ass like bottle or, you know, maybe two or three cans a day. Like that, that would be like more satisfactory to me because that, that's what I do now. I probably drink like two or three a day. More, I'd say more two. I probably average more two than three, but... I occasionally I will have like three in a day, which, you know, pro I mean, it's not like, you know, I wouldn't say like an addiction, but it, it kind of is. But be like, I, I'm kind of getting like sidetracked on the point, but because of like, I was restricted, I craved it more. So like in the same sense, like, the, the, like me, I'm like a real life example to it. Like, the more you restrict someone from doing something, the more they're going to crave it. And especially with all these religious people and re the religious mumbo-jumbo they're spouting. And, like, the fact that, like, oh, you can't even pleasure yourself because it's a fucking sin. Like, no wonder why you're all, like, sex-crazed, like, fucking maniacs. 
because you think jerking off is going to like send you to fucking hell. And even if it does, why the fuck does it matter? Like, I, I just, I, I don't know. Like, it, it, I, I truly think that's like part of the reason. It may not be the full reason. You know, some people maybe just want to like practice and whatever. But like some of the reason why people like crave something more is because they're restricted from it. I never, ever, I don't, I don't have a big sweet tooth. I, I don't care for like things like cake, ice cream. The most I'll probably have is an occasional cookie, maybe a chocolate or two. And I'll also eat brownies. So I guess maybe anything that's probably like chocolate related. Cause I usually, chocolate chip cookies are probably my favorite. So I guess anything maybe chocolate related. That's as far as like my sweet tooth really goes. And you, I think you want to know why? Because I had unlimited access to any kind of fucking candy and sweets in the damn world when I was a kid. Shit, my family used to always get like, you know, things like chocolate covered strawberries and, and you know, ice cream. Like load the fridge with like ice creams and, and, and you know, uh, let's get like, you know, some birthday cakes and pies and, and stuff like on special occasion. And it's like, I, I didn't care for it because it was like, I was given access to eat as much as uh, of it as I wanted. And because of that, like I, I wasn't restricted from it. I didn't crave it. I didn't, it wasn't something that I latched onto. That's like, I really freaking want this. And again, there could be other things, you know, just the way I'm built. It could be that, you know, like I just, I don't have a sweet tooth. Some people just don't care for sweets. I don't care for sweets. But in the same sense, I think it's because also the lack of restriction, it just, I didn't have an interest in it. I didn't crave it as much as I craved soda because I wasn't able to satisfy my thirst for it. And now it's like, I fucking fell in love with the drink. I, I literally my brand name beverages that I crack open every time I start a recording is literally a soda. So that's just my two cents on the whole, like, restricting yourself. Because I think, I think part of the reason is that, you know, when, like, you don't relieve yourself of certain things, you know, you practice, you know, abstinence, it's going to make you crave it even more. A lot of people, you know, give up certain types of food or whatever for Lent. They don't eat... You know, yeah, the, just the whole idea of, like, Lent is, like, it's going to make you want that shit even more. Which, I guess, that's the, you know, and that's the devotion. That's, I think that's the pure reason why people, you know, a part of the reason why they do it. It's, like, the devo how devoted are you? Are you able to give up this thing that you use daily for, you know, an entire month or whatever? Because that shows how devoted you are to your religion and your God or whatever. Because, like, you know, obviously I'm able to give up something for my religion. And that proves how devoted I am to that religion. But in the same sense, it's like, I don't know, it just, it, you, you have one life. That's it. That's all you get. You get probably a solid, on average, like, 70 years and you're fucking gone. I'm not going to spend that time not enjoying my life. And although my life is very boring, I would, I would probably argue I'm a very boring person. I don't go get out and do a lot of things and a lot of, I also, I, I probably should throw out that I'm probably going to like put one of those, like you can skip to, if you want to continue the gameplay, but you can skip the section somewhere at the beginning of this. Cause this is a very long tangent. I went on, um, Fuck, what was I talking about? Uh, oh, I have like a boring life. Um, but it's one that I enjoy. Like, I I go to my 9 to 5, I come home and I play games. That is pretty much my life to a T for like at least definitely the past three years. Two, yeah, two years. Um, but most of my life, I mean, that, I, I mean, actually I would... I would argue it's a better of a decade because, you know, ever since I really started playing games, because like, I would argue that was my school day, you know, my nine to five was going to school and then I came home and then guess what? I played video games. That's what I love to do. Now, granted, high school is a little bit different because like I said, I, I, I did a lot of extracurriculars in high school and I was a very active person in high school. So 
a lot less so in high school. But in college, I mean, college was... I did extra some extracurriculars in college, but it was mostly just, you know, marching band that I obviously did. Um, which my sat some, you know, my, my Saturdays were usually taken up, but if I if I wasn't at a football game or practicing in the marching band or going to class, I was playing video games. That's that's all I I love video games with a passion. I, I, they will never die for me. I love them. I absolutely love games. And, you know, part of me, is it escapism? Maybe, but it's like, I don't think the world is bad. I don't hate the world. A lot of people are like, fuck the world, I hate the world. It's like, I don't think the world is a bad place. It's just people make it bad. And I do think a lot of my aggression, more so of why the world sucks, is because of people. I think people made living life difficult. Life does not need to be difficult. A lot of us can just choose to... You know, if we want to just idly sit by, we should have that choice to do so. You know, a lot of us don't care like me. I don't care to make a big name for myself. I don't care to be, you know, put my name out there. I don't care to, you know, travel the entire freaking globe and see everything. Like, I'm not one of those people. I don't usually go out a lot. I, like I said, I love immersing myself in the worlds of, of, of gaming. You know, as, as, you know, turbo virgin as that sounds, I, it's, it's what I love. And it's not something that I will ever change because I love that about myself. But a lot of people, they can't find that love about that in themselves. And it's like, then they complain about everything. They complain how life is going. It's like, if you want to do something, go fucking do it. You know what I mean? Don't let freaking God tell you that you can't do things. I would say, uh, besides, you know, like, hurting other people, like, like the actual illegal shit. Like, don't go and fucking murder someone. Just because God whispers sweet nothing in your ear that you should put a pillow over your kid's face at night does not mean you should go and do it. I, I say this in, like, a normal means. Like, if, if there's a place you want to visit in your life, if you want to do things that aren't illegal, that would throw you in jail, go and do them. Just because, yes, if you want to jerk off three times a day, then fucking do it. You know what I mean? Like, life is too short. You only get one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment. Would you capture it or just let it slip? No, but seriously, like, you, you live one life. Why hold yourself, uh, you know, back just because some person we don't even know really fucking exists is you know saying that you can't do those things that's that's you're sinning i i don't know i guess but you know in the same sense you know if that's your practice that's your thing if that's what you love then all for it but it's like i i feel like a lot of people kneecap themselves and make life harder for themselves because they believe in something that doesn't even matter you know, it's your life. It's not freaking whoever your gods is life. It's not their life. You, should, you shouldn't be, you know, stuck on a path that you can't freaking move from. It's your life. Live it. Like, even if your religion says you can't do these things, fuck, fuck it. Fuck the, move somewhere where it's okay. I don't know. Like, that's whatever. I, I, you know, I went on a huge tangent here. So I guess if you stuck through the whole thing... Appreciate it. I don't know if I'll cut some of it out, um, but let's just get back into it. I want to. I want to keep playing the game. I don't want this whole recording session to just be me like rambling about random shit. But in the same sense, it's also conversations like that that really, uh, I guess, keep the playthrough unique. You know what I mean? Because then you get like a, I guess, a sort of depth into like my perspective of life and how I how I view things that. Not necessarily just life, but how I can view things in, in these games or the messages the games are trying to tell us. Anywho. Crying Grudge. A statue of the prophet Crying Grudge. The god endlessly weeps at the vision of the future he cannot unsee. Plants Collection. Witness collects and breeds rare plants. Sometimes he gives them as gifts and then hounds you to take proper care of the most fragile plants on the planet. Witness to the end's phone. Witness's phone. I can take this to the comms tower and verify its location. Are you just going to steal his phone? The silent goat. The holy catalyst. Relics. 
Relics from Persia from before the Great Betrayal. They, these are the early depictions of gods and demons. Okie doke. I found Witness's phone in his apartment. Oh, damn, he's got the Nokia? Goddamn, shit! <laughs> Witness told me that he received a phone call from Aikiko. I can check his story out if I plug this into the comms tower. We're just gonna steal his phone? Does he care that we just raided his apartment? I just raided your phone, brother. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna- Yo, but he he is kind of drippy. I won't deny. I mean, like, for how much I think this character is pretty laughable, he, he got the drip. Especially even just, like, the gold skull mask. That's pretty cool. But definitely, I like the color vibe. I like the color scheme. He's pretty drippy, not gonna lie. You know, religion may not always be there for you, but drip is eternal. <laughs> All right, I guess another witness story. So honestly, really, I honestly, fuck. Who is Aikiko closer? Is she's the closest one that I can go to? Probably not. I already talked with them. That was the spectral person, Sam. Judge, but Judge doesn't have anything new. Yeah, no, Car Carmelina is probably yeah, Carmelina's the next closest, it looks- Oh, wait, actually, no, Yuri. Yuri's closer. Let's go to Yuri, then. I really want to say the joke, but... I'm gonna keep myself from doing it. <laughs> you guys ever heard of Yuri? Who's Yuri? <laughs> do, 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 do. Splendid pamphlet obtained. A pamphlet about a celebratory uh, gardens. They are dedicated to Gregory Complex, the syndicate member responsible for weaving the broken timelines together several sequences ago. His sacrifice will be remembered. What do you need? Are, oh, shit. Uh, are you here to take me away? Where? Where would I take you? To the ritual... Are you a citizen? Am I? I was once, but now I don't know. I'm lost. You're still here, even after the citizen slaughter ritual preceding the end of this island. Why? Maybe the gods rejected my sacrifice? I knew the ritual was coming. We all knew it, but it was sooner than expected. I thought we had a few more hours, so I left the house to go find something I'd lost. And what was that? A stone that had fallen from my ring. It was something my wife gave me to celebrate our future lunar cycle together. It's got no value. She just found it on the beach, but as we held it, our troubles seemed to fade. Being close to each other is all that mattered. When we got married, I had it placed in my wedding ring, but it fell out a few days ago. So you were out looking for the stone? Yes, I needed that stone with me. Before I found it, the marshals came and took me to the ritual. I pleaded, I begged, I just needed a few more moments. I became so angry. If I couldn't find my stone, then at least let me see my family one last time. I was always told death would be peaceful, but that was a lie. And how do you feel now? The anger is not dissipated, but I am still here. I am here for a reason. I must find my stone so I can rest. Will you help me? I will. I'll find your stone. I am an investigator. Thank you. Look around the park between the citizens and the syndicate apartments. I'm sure I lost it when I was sat on the beach there. Have you found my stone? Oh wait, did I already find it? Oh sweet. Yes, I think I have. Glistening stone. Hell yeah. Really? Can I see? Oh yes, that's it. I can't describe how this makes me feel. It's like, like we're together again. Please, you keep it. I can feel my sail fading out of this world and I can't take the stone with me. When you hold it, I hope you can find the happiness that it gave me. Yo! Couldn't help oh, but spying on you. What do you want? You like that stone that spirit gave you? It's nice. It has a wonderful depth to it. Oh, hoping it was going to be a no. Why? Want to sell it? Why do you want it? Gems that are tied to the suffering of others are one of my collections. One of? Oh yeah, I collect antiques from the planet populated by slug scholars. Also, I got a cabinet of clarified entrails, prayer welts, 
Or, but prayer wreaths from the mad monks in the Venus labyrinths. So, want to sell it? Two blood crystals, one time offer. I mean, I, I feel bad. Like, the dude literally just gave it to me and said, Remember, remember the times we had. But then again, it, th th these objects may not have any value anymore. You know what I mean? Because he said it's a one-time offer, so... Nah, screw it. I think I'll hang on to it. Shame. I suppose I'm gonna die with this island soon, so so no biggie. Don't stress it, Lady Love dies. I just wanted a little bit of happiness before the horroring embrace of oblivion. Okie doke, boss. Is this the end of the syndicate? Thinking out out loud, Lady Dub that Love dies? How the hell should I know? There are your people. Now piss off and investigate. Well, jeez, brother. He's probably mad that I didn't sell him the, uh, the stone. Oh, there's Yuri. Okay. Okie doke. Oh, wait. First, before we, uh... Let's see what kind of drink we got. C1. A popular chilled canned coffee. A blend of different flavors made to satisfy any coffee lover. Well, I don't really like coffee, so... But... What the heck? Anyway, your petals seem to be at the scene of the crime, brother, next to a weirdly shaped, uh, um, I, not weirdly shaped, but next to a space helmet that was most likely used to get through the second holy seal, so, I don't know. Also, I heard stories from Lydia that you apparently got chiseled fucking abs overnight. What's the deal with that, brother? <laughs> Secretary to the Architect. All right, what should I give Yuri? I think I might go with that. Right. <laughs> You're the famous investigation freak. I don't believe we've ever met before. Yuri Knight, secretary to the architect and the fairy woman's handler, born in the marble chambers of Island Sequence 15 under the sign of Dire Rose. Oh yeah, because Island 13 was when we got exiled. So yeah, we never met this dude. Or I guess... Love Dies has never met him because he came here on sequence 15, which was after our exile. Yuri is new to the syndicate and has quickly risen through the ranks. I can't believe in our darkest hour that judge called on you. I understand your secretary of architect Carmelina and Lydia's handler during the, her fairy woman duties. Did you manage to deduce that? I'm so glad Judge brought me back. Be a good freak. Get Henry prosecuted and then you can disappear back to your exile. You're convinced it was Henry? Obviously, I can only aspire to your level, but I think it's pretty clear. Let's get to business. What do you want, freak? No mention of grieving for our loss? Grieving is a sign of weakness. I said, let's get to business. Stop dragging it out. All right, I don't really like this guy. Not gonna lie. Do you believe Henry did this? What an insufferable question. Of course he did it. The Grand Marshal has him in custody. No suspicions of anyone else? The islands are full of schemers. You know that. Want to drop anyone in on it, Yuri? Dish some dirt on someone? What? Who's got a motive to kill the council, Yuri? The killer is in a cell waiting to be executed. Let's say he isn't the killer. He is. It's a thorough experiment, Yuri. Play along. If Henry didn't kill the council, who else has a motive? Fine, I'll play along. You should investigate Crimson. You gave that name up pretty easily. I've had my suspicions for a while. Why? 
Something sits wrong with her. Why did she get blessed? What would stop her from wanting more power now that she's blessed? She's too smug. That seems tenacious, or tenuous. You're an investigation freak. Investigate. He has a real fucking pouty face though, not gonna lie. What the hell is that? Enchanted Blue is secured by god hunters in the real world. She's in the pyramids hidden in the caverns in the Sahara. The syndicate exists to resurrect the gods. How can we sit idly by when a goddess is in the hands of the enemy? Retrieving her would be a suicide mission. You're familiar with the depiction by the gods, right? Or the de deception by the gods, right? Like you? You disgraced freak? I haven't been deceived. It's a- that's a crime! Future counselors can't commit crimes, can we? How did you go through such a big transformation? Enchanted Blue blesses those she deceives with physical perfection. You're saying I'm perfect, freak? You like what you see? God, I fucking hate you, dude. I'm not into little boys. Bah! You're a joke, freak. You're going to fail and go back to exile if you keep forcing, focusing on everyone except the killer. What if you're the killer? Is this the brilliance of your investigation technique? Just as rhetorical questions and hope someone confesses? Judge made a mistake bringing you back. Where were you last night? I was directing the fairy woman all night. Were you now? Because according to some of the clues, it seems like Lydia and Sam some point ended up at the council place during the time of the murder. So if you're directing her, wouldn't that make you at least an accomplice in the murder then? From where? Here in the celebratory gardens. You often work in the gardens? My work last night didn't require a desk, and the gardens are beautiful when the island is ending. Any proof? No, freak. The gardens aren't covered by logs, unlike your HQ. Give me your phone, Yuri. What? I need to verify your location last night. You would have been making calls with it if you were di directing Lydia. I'm under no obligation to give you my phone. I have important work to do with it. Not until I finish my important work, you don't. I have jurisdiction here. I'm an investigator judge. Uh, I'm the investigator judge called on. You are obligated to assist in my investigation or I will haul you in front of the judge for obstruction. If you don't give me your phone, I will also assume that you have something to hide. Fine. Whatever. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just do what you need to and bring it back. I just need to use the comms tower to verify the location of any calls made from this phone. Then you can have it back after the trial. What do you know about KXH's disappearance? Or H- I keep saying XH's. HX's disappearance. He hasn't been seen for a few days. Probably sleeping off a hangover. He was one of your old drinking crew, wasn't he? Isn't he missing syndicate- uh, the isn't a missing syndicate member something of a concern for one of the people responsible for getting the syndicate off the island? I can only work with what I have. If he doesn't want to be picked up by the fairy woman, I can't help it. He's his own man. No concern or empathy? What do you want from me? I don't care about everyone. It's exhausting. Tell me about Crimson. The traitorous idol. Traitorous? She peddled her secrets and uh, distabilities this, uh, uh, and, oh, destabilizes, my bad. I don't know why I couldn't read destabilizes. She peddles her secrets and destabilizes the syndicate. You're worried she's got something on you? Don't make me laugh. Has she got a motive for killing the council? She has her own secrets. I'm sure she isn't happy about people knowing. She wants to play soldiers again. She won't accept her new role and wants to run around with a sword and a gun fighting demons. If the next island is perfect, then we won't, there won't be any more demonic invasions. I think she's trying to destabilize the island so she can have another go at playing soldier. 
Hmm. That's a lot of speculation. If you don't like the answer, don't ask the question. Your job is to direct Lydia when she moves up to the next island, right? What do you want now? What did you direct her to do right before the council murder? I asked her to take her husband Sam off the island. The end of the island party was over and his bar could be shut down. What time was this? About 2340, I think. Oh, I should, 2043, I think it wasn't 2034, I think it was 2043. What do you know about the second holy seal? We don't know about the seals, freak. That's the point. Ever want a space helmet, Yuri? Why would I wear a space helmet to get through the second seal? Never been through it, freak. A space helmet was discovered surrounded by pink petals that look like they came from your hat. That is the most tenuous thing to s I've ever heard, freak. You're grasping at straws. Did you see Crimson last night? I knew she was ready for pickup, but I left her until the end. She hates it here, and I had the power to make her wait a little longer. So I did. Oh, so you forcefully- Man! Pfft. Seems like you just don't like goat hoochie. <laughs> did you see Witness to the End last night? I'm aware the architect planned to visit him last night. You can check with her. Okay, so that, okay, if we have someone else that wasn't a part of the meeting, I mean, the logs can, can already confirm it, but, like, if there's someone else even, like, attestifying to the fact that they were going to meet, that means it definitely went down. They did meet each other. How do you know? I'm the architect's assistant. I arrange her appointments and make sure that she can carry out her work without being obstructed by anyone else on this island. Do you know anything about the murder of the Marshal Guards outside of the council building? I don't know anything, investigator. I wasn't there. What do you know about the escape last night? What would I know? Man, I don't know if I want to hang out with this fucker, because I'm going to have to be like, Oh, yes, I am a little cum dumpster. I, I, you know, I'm freaking, I'm a stupid head. I'm a poopy, poopoo pee pee head. Uh, your, your absolute, your chiseled ab just turns me on. <sighs> I was at least able to pl play along with the whole religious thing. Cause you know, I'm you know, not, it, I don't think it makes witness a bad person because he's super religious, but I mean, th this guy's just a pompous fucking prick. Like he's an asshole and I don't like assholes. Got time to chat Yuri. What do you want, freak? Especially because he keeps calling me freak. I'm going to start calling you pee-pee head. You weren't part of the syndicate before I was exiled. Is that a statement or a question? A question. Then phrase it like a question. You're serious? Is that a statement or a question? What's your history with the syndicate? I was born a low-ranking syndicate members, bo uh, barely footnotes in our history. They say children naturally rebel against their parents. I am evidence. They were content to wallow in obscurity, and now I am a secretary of the architect. How did- No, thank you. S sorry? I'm not interested in talking with you about myself anymore. Goodbye, freak. Goodbye, Yuri. Doesn't really feel like my fucking relationship increased. May you see through a million eyes. And may you reach the moon. Well, at least he can give me the signature catchphrase. And may you suck a thousand peepees. Actually, no, I'm sure you'd like that. <laughs> uh, I forget how to jump. Is there anything? Because actually, I don't think I went to this side. So there's got to be something back here, right? Maybe not. Because down here, I think, is where we found, like, Lydia's knife and stuff, right? Ooh, 
Got that blood. See, that water looks deep. Can you actually... I feel like it's going to kill me, right? Yeah, no, I probably shouldn't. Actually, wait, can you swim? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> respawning the investigator under the god. Okay, yeah, you can't, uh... Can't actually go that way. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Huh. Why am I here now? That was a, a wild-ass teleport. Goddamn. Yeah, I was like all the way down there, now I'm up here. What the fuck? Oh no, I guess it kind of makes sense, because I was like underneath the building, so it like respawned me on like the land above. Alright, so our next stop. Dr. Doom Jazz, maybe? That's such a sick-ass name, bro. I hope we become the best of friends. Dude, Dr. Doom Jazz just seems like a dope-ass name. Yeah, I guess that's probably our next stop. Well, wait, what the heck is this over here? What the fuck? Why is there like a... Excuse me? A fissure is an obscure galaxy inhabited by a race of psychic lizard people. What? Excuse me? What the fuck? Oh, I hear some- Ooh, See, you can't hide from me! Red crest obtained. A red crest found in the Syndicate HQ. It looks like it could fit into something. Oh, so it's another one of those, like, uh, put it into something and then something will happen. Maybe it's down here? You know, actually, I didn't explore the, like, foyer enough, you know what I mean? Yeah, because there's some blood, blood crystals and shit down here. So it looks like we kind of officially, like, done full loop now. Island Sequence 2. Uh, a dreadful time. We learn of the demons and in the stars, and they come for us. Damn, that's when the demons showed up. What's up, brother? Oh, so you can, like, get up this way. Well, you know what? I want to real quick, uh... I'm gonna see, uh, what this guard has to say. Oh, didn't mean to crouch. What's up, brother? Can I talk to you? Halt! This is a restricted area. What do you want, freak? Listen, I know I'm called the investigation freak, but I have authority from Judge. You need direct permission from Grand Marshal Aikiko 14 to enter. She doesn't have juris she doesn't have jurisdiction. Judge does. I'm investigating in her behest in her beh in their behest. Now let me in. Step back before I make you step back. Okay, okay, chill. This is a military facility. I'm not obliged to let you in. Oh, I'm not obligated. Why did I say obliged? Obligated to let you in. I only take orders from Grand Marshal. She isn't in charge here? The Grand Marshal runs the marshals. I'm a marshal. This isn't getting me anywhere. Are you authorized to answer questions? No, I'm under orders to direct you to the Grand Marshal. Fantastic. What do you want, freak? Interesting. Whoa, just take it easy, man. But, but with that note, that proves that the marshals only listen to Aikiko. Also, why the fuck would they put this gap here in the middle of the damn... That's crazy. No, but I think that's what our note was there for. It, it, it proves that... Aikiko is the only one that has authority of the marshals. I want to see what's down here real quick. Uh, fantastic crystallized tear necklace. Rare and highly prized. Sometimes people inflict misery on others in an attempt to pan for them. Excuse me? Is that like BDSM? Is that already down this way? Yes, because there's Yuri. Okay, yeah, so this is just back up. All right, that works. Um, what's this way? What the hell, what the hell is this? 
Citizen Services. Oh, damn, this is HR? Or, uh, the, like, the, fuck, what, um, like, the DMV or some shit? Guess we should hopefully hack this computer and see who crossed this point, I guess. There. Perfect. All right, so this should hopefully let me see who passed here, right? These are the logs of who entered and exited the Syndicate HQ last night. There's only one route to the council building and involves going through the Syndicate HQ. If Henry did escape and kill the council, he'd have come through here. Let's see. Architect Carmelina left the HQ early through this gate. So did Yuri. Doomjazz didn't leave his clinic. So Doom Jazz never left the syndicate or left his place because you'd have to cross through here. Henry hasn't been logged coming through this gate. This is the only way he'd get to the council building by himself. Is there another route he could have taken from his cell? Interesting. Well, we did find that grapple gear and stuff, but I don't know. Did it belong to him? Did it belong to Lydia? I don't know. I guess that's the question for Silent Goat. The first humanity had con... The first god humanity had contact with. He gifted his power to the syndicate while he was being tortured during the Great Betrayal. His gift allowed us to create the island sequences. All hail the magic conch. Wait, I didn't actually check. Can I actually, like, go in here? Or is it just... Yeah, no, it's just... Okay. Alright, well, I guess I should hear it directly from... Oh, wait, there's also Carmelina. Oh, Carmelina's closer. I haven't spoken with her, so I guess we'll go to... Carmelina, get her to actually. I, I'm kind of curious to what she has to say. Actually, it looks like she's just up here. Interesting. If I can fucking find my way through the flowers. Your garden's kind of hard to get through, madam. Leader Monstrat, may the silent go always walk with you. The last time I saw Monstrat was when I was exiled three million days ago. Exile trial. Oh, this is her pass now, right? Oh shit, we actually get to voice him. Fuck, I didn't. I wasn't ready for this. The crime you've committed is severe. Your actions could have ended the syndicate. You let yourself be deceived by damned harmony. The god used you to enact a plot against us. Threatening our holy mission and endangering the rest of the holy cosmic pantheon. I cannot believe you of all people let this happen. It breaks my heart. You served us so well and for so long. Do you have anything to say? I don't think anything I say will matter. You're unrepentant? Just realistic. You're not interested in the circumstances as long as you get your theatrics. You were the head of the Paradise Psycho Unit. You were supposed to protect us against these dangers. You failed us. Your sentence is exile. You will be sent to the Isle Lands for the rest of your eternal life. The Paradise Psycho Unit will be disbanded. Goodbye, Lady Love Dies. You will, we will never meet again. <laughs> 